And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Landmark Deep. We're going to be trying out uh, Deep Deck with a couple of new cards. You'll probably expect uh, the Slaughter Docks. This is going to be a new Landmark that of course cares about Deep. And you've probably seen this played in some Deep Decks before. And we're definitely going to be trying that out because we're, you know, this is Landmark Deep. But we're also going to be trying uh, the Shadow Isles new Landmark, Vaults of Helia and kind of building around this. So our game plan with the Vaults of Helia is to be able to have Vaults of Helia get Nautilus in play for us. That's the game plan. So we want we want Nautilus in play. So we definitely cannot play um, you know, the eight mana sea monster Terror of the Tides, because we don't want to have we don't want to sacrifice Nautilus into that. But this can this can put Nautilus into play where we're not using any mana to play Nautilus. And so we're still playing uh, spending all of our mana doing other stuff and then whenever we put nautilus into play for free then hopefully we're deep it levels up all of our sea monster allies cost four less and then we can have our full amount of mana to be able to unload more sea monsters right away with that so of course to put nautilus into play we need devour adepts so that's that's our plan there and now um and then until so yeah so then, so then we're just going to be going up the chain with that like you know maybe we sacrifice maokai to get to abyssal eye to get to devour to nautilus and so on but hopefully, um, you know, hopefully we're just going to be playing Devour and then go straight from like have Vaults of Helium play, play Devour, and then get rid of Devour and put Nautilus into play. That's kind of our, our goal. Now, another really cool thing that can happen is with the Slaughter Docks with Vaults of Helia, these two together. Like, let's say we have those two in play. We probably played the Slaughter Docks first, so it's going to be on the left, and then we played Vaults of Helia second, so it's going to be on the right. And so the Slaughter Docks round start would happen first. Um, and so if we go deep with the slaughter docks, then we'll summon a random sea monster. And then if that, that random sea monster is devour adepts, which is, you know, fairly likely, then, then our round start will happen. the vaults of Healy will happen afterwards. Then we'll destroy that sea monster that we just got and put something else into play. Um, and so that's, that's kind of our plan here. So that's something that can, can definitely happen. So we could have slaughter docks, just put a devourer into play and then the Vaults of Helia kill that Devourer and put Nautilus into play. So we could just round start from nowhere, just suddenly put Nautilus into play whenever we go deep. So that, that could be really cool. So that's what we're going to try. And um, these, I guess, last thing, these little things are awesome with Vaults of Helia, right? Like if we just have like Thorny Toad in play, um, you know, we can kill Thorny Toad and we get that last breath thing, and then we put either Jaw Hunters or Dead Bloom Wanderer. Both of these are summon abilities, so these are both awesome things to put into play. Um, you know, so then, you know, we can get rid of that Thorny Toad, put Wanderer into play, and suddenly we just tossed five, and we now we have a Dead Bloom Wanderer, and so on. So, like, these are all, these all work really well, the, these one, two, threes, with um, Vaults of Helia as well. All right, that's enough talking. It's Landmark Deep. Let's try out these uh, new Landmarks together. Let's see how we do. All right, playing against Twisted Swain. That's a good deck. I don't know if y'all have seen this deck before, but it's pretty good. They have a lot of two-for-ones. They have a lot of damage abilities. So obviously we're going to keep Dredge Dredgers and Maokai. It's what do we want to do besides that. Vengeance is going to go. Grasp, like, I like the healing that Grasp re represents um, with their ability to do Nexus damage. But I'm going to Mulligan F. We don't have to play Dredge Dredgers right away. We could, but we don't have to. So I'm kind of thinking of like being able to save Dredge Dredger so I can... Because we have the attack token turn 5. So I was thinking like turn 5, play Maokai, then play Dredgers. And yeah, since we haven't played anything, it looks like they're just sitting on all sorts of removal. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Eyes open. Give me the stuff! Stuff make happy! <laughs> All or nothing. You bad! Thirteen away from deep. I'm just gonna cast this because we're going to be wasting all this mana anyway. 
There goes two Devourer Adepts. Yeah, Rank Up Sunday, I don't know, think about like Shivana Dragons, the Howling, the Howling Ramp. I dealt with you Shadow Isles types before. They are nothing like me. Those are, those are probably the decks I'm thinking about the most right now with that. Um, we haven't played Mountain Diana with the new set. Give them room to spread their leaves. Okay, I'm going to be going with the Vile Feast here, uh, basically to protect, to help, help against Make It Rain, help it so that it gets harder for them to kill the Sapling with Make It Rain. Because otherwise it would just automatically just kill these two with Make It Rain. So we're two away from deep, so we draw our card next turn. It's not, you know, like we're not quite deep for the Abyssal Eye. Oh, right, 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 right. That thing was going to do its thing. <laughs> Never mind. I forgot. I, yeah, the landmark tossing one. Right, that's a thing. Looks like trouble. Ding, 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 ding. Um. I guess it may be better to keep these things in play for like. I think it's better to keep those in play um, for like a Riptide Rex. <clears throat> Alright, so we'll go with the Vaults of Helia so that we'll sacrifice this. Yeah, so hoping, hoping just to put Nautilus in play here. Hope, hoping to go Devour Depths. Alright, well, we'll take Shipwreck Order, I guess. You wanted wrath. But if that was Devour, then we would have been able to put in Nautilus and then had, like, cheap. You know, one mana Abyssal Eye and have Vengeance. You know, would have had both of those, or even Nautilus's champion spell. I don't think it's actually good to just get get this kind of damage on these things. So I like that we had like our Vengeances for Leviathan. I may need to end up actually casting Vengeance on a Twisted Fate. Lock the doors. Would not be ideal. Okay, we can have this for Twisted Fate. I like that better. Alright, so our <laughs> our Vault of Helia didn't do anything this game. It almost did, but we're gonna I'm just gonna replace the Vault of Helia. We really just don't need it anymore, because now our most expensive thing's gonna be like the Nautilus. And that won't be doing anything anymore. We're at 15 cars. We know we have the two treasures somewhere. Like so 
So we have to make sure they can't do 10 Nexus damage to me. Hoping they can't. Alright, no treasures there. Oh, we just started playing this deck. Uh, Meddler. Uh, first games. First games with it, so, uh, you know, not not exactly sure how we're going to do against Soraka, Tom Kench. Haven't, haven't seen that matchup yet, but I think it could, could do pretty well. All right, Vaults of Helia not looking the best, but that's okay. Other times it could look really good. We'll see. It's just one game. Hoping they don't find a six more Nexus damage. They've already played two Noxion Fervors. Right? Wasn't there a second one? Yeah, they've played two Noxion Fervors already. If they play Swain, should I Vengeance Swain? It's possible I should not because of Noxion Fervor. Like, we're just going to be going right to attacks, of course. Right now they don't have anything that blocks Nautilus. You can't do this. Easy. You got legs. Use them. Vaults looked pretty good yesterday in our Tiana deck. Like, you know, yesterday we played a, a Tiana Vaults deck. It looked pretty good there. Killing like Grizzled Ranger and putting in Radiant Guardian. Noxion Guillotine? Alright, well I guess we've figured out how they're gonna deal with that. Yuck. Yeah, Snoxion Guillotine's a nightmare. Yeah, that's what I've I've seen people playing Scorched Earth recently instead of Guillotine. Time to go with the chain. Alright, we do not have the two mana card left. Guess we've already tossed all of the, the two mana one fours. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. I should wait for them to attack. Atrocity. A little late. Fear the power that you do not see. That was a great Noxion guillotine they had. Alright, so the vaults didn't do anything. Unfortunately, even the treasure that we found, that's, you know, the worst of the, the three treasures. This really didn't work out well for me. There's plenty. 
GG's. All right. <laughs> First game, landmark did nothing. So that's just just the first game. Uh, Twist of Fate, Diana. All right, we'll keep the jettison. Look for more cheap toss stuff. Usually a good place to start. Question all that you are told. So we have the options of Jaw Hunters or Slaughter Docks for this next turn. I think since we have the attack token, I want to go Jaw Hunters. Because uh, I think I do want to take try to take down a Diana, and then whenever we don't have the attack token on the next turn, we'll go Slaughter Docks. The yeah, the, the vault is a good idea on paper, and it, it, it can work. It can work. Um, just didn't, <laughs> didn't work that game. Speak, Speak, I say. See, this is a good spot for vaults. We play in bilge rules, son. Could just go grasp the undying on this. Mentor the stones. No, we'll just play this thing. Ill met by moonlight. Give us some room. Face your heretic. Well, that's too bad. Now I don't get to play my Vault of Helia. Should have gone Grasp instead of the Slaughter Docks. So I can only do one thing this turn. I'm going to have that one thing be the Abyssal Eye. I'm always up for a round or two. All that glitters. Some good champions there, Diana and Twisted Fate. Gold, floaty crystals. A game. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. Yeah, we gotta have the Vault of Helia in play Unseen. for to do something. You from our foes. All right, so they got leveled up Twisted Fate. That's pretty good. So they have Bastion, the game's over. Yeah, it's not a bad plan, Debo, just kind of waiting um, with the, the new cards and the new set and everything. Um, it's not a, not a bad plan. Excuse me. I think it's it's probably good just just to wait just a little bit as we as we try out all these new cards and stuff like that. No, I would not recommend crafting Lee Sin deck, especially with the, them saying that they're going to be changing Lee Sin in the next balance patch. Um, 
The journey is difficult. These will protect you. We're still nine away from deep. I did a poor job going deep this game. Looks like they have a whole lot of stuff, but it's you know it's a bunch of one twos. One twos aren't too scary. Should be game. Leveled up Twisted Fate with all those cards. Should be game. What do we got? There we go. I like this. Definitely like this hand a whole lot better than what we had last time. We're playing against Bilgewater Targon again, a, a much different version of Bilgewater Targon. Um, but this is much better for the first few turns than what we had last game. Uh, Cordex says, I just got my first five games from Plat 4 to Plat 3. Hawk saved my message. I written higher because it's my DT for points from morning. Oh, okay. Uh... Save a message from written higher. Let's see. Okay, up way up there. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about this hand. Yeah, so Lux. Shivana. Cool. With Targon. Yes, the landmark... I mean, the landmark is tossing, so that, that does go towards um, Maokai's toss. Do you think they just have another one of those? Possibly. It's better to play this first because... Getting this, like, this is always going to just toss three, my Dead Bloom Wanderer, but getting these things in play first means that um, they're, in they're in play longer, so they're going to be tossing longer. Plus, it's good to have um, allies to be able to cast after Maokai. No, when you, yeah, no, this this will not, you, you only get uh, saplings from whenever you play allies, if this, if you get an ally from this, that's not playing an ally, so no, you will not get um, a sapling from that. Okay, well now we have dredge dredgers, so that means next turn I should go Maokai dredge dredgers. So this turn we're going Wanderer. No, Vengeance does not hit landmarks. A little surprised by that. But it does not. Maybe I should save Maokai for even later. Yeah, maybe I even save Maokai for later. It does seem like we, maybe we just want to like play Maokai as soon as we're able to you know, try to be able to play it and level it up right away. We don't want Maokai to be taken down by a Tom Kench. We really want Maokai to level up. They're taking their time. All right, finally. The possibilities are infinite. Let me guide you. 
Let's get this thing in play. Let's play Vault of Helio. I guess that means you have a pretty good uh, metagame, because that's showing a good metagame. Different people say different things. Weird they used that Phil Cascade right there. When it didn't save it. See dredgers. Dredgers into Thorny Toad. It's pretty cool. So if I go Maokai plus Dredgers, then our Maokai gets turned into an Abyssal Eye. Or we go. Abyssal Eye plus Dredgers. Could go Slaughter Docks. Yeah, let's go Slaughter Docks. Give me the stuff! Stuff make happy! <laughs> so I can cast a Grasp of the Undying. I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too. Yeah. Nothing really to cast that on. If I kill you, I know fortune! Okay, so how so like these landmarks go from left to right. So this one's gonna happen first, so we won't be deep. And then this will happen, so we're gonna destroy the thorny, thorny Toad and put in a three drop. Heal our Nexus two. And so now we're deep, so now this one's gonna put in a sea monster. And so we've been tossing a lot, so I'm hoping that we can just play this Maokai. Take some treasures. Well, we're gonna be able to play this Maokai leveled up. We need one. We need one thing to die. Did that take up like my opponent's like whole turn? Just all my animations? Yeah, like all my animations like took up their turn. <laughs> Stars fall. Take heart. Live with purpose. All right, so I have one thing die. Seven. And now Maokai level up, because I think that's probably my fastest way to win this game is Maokai level up. I'm trying to kill this thing, because I don't want them to have like the huge healing power that that gives. Alright, so they got four cards left to kill me. Yeah, that's true. They're going to be drawing an extra card each turn with Soraka. But, you know, not, not right here. So, like, they'll draw a couple more. Heal Breaker. Deal five to all units. I don't think we really want it though. Blood and salt. GG's. I was only gonna attack I was I actually was not I was just gonna be attacking with like the the elusives. Mid-range Frostbite. Mid-range frost Frostbite's still awesome. That's a really cool deck. Hey, what's up, Mafia? Yeah, new meta. Alright, so we keep both Thorny Toads? Yeah, we'll probably keep both of them. Their deck usually plays, like, Pale Cascades and stuff like that. Like, they probably have some, some way to block a Nautilus. That last turn. Um. 
Yeah, the three mana deep landmark has looked very good. I underrated that card. The slaughter docks. Them better than expected. That is not a good attack by them. Not a good trade. I mean, yes, we did just trade two mana cards. So, you know, they can look at it that way. That was just trade a two drop for a two drop. It's also possible that I should wait till after Maokai. Because we don't have any other units right now. Okay, there we go. There's another unit. All the world on one arrow. Just on one arrow? Corruption everywhere. On the trade. Maybe we may get calling striked. I can't. Can't really stop that. But we'll get. We'll get at least one sapling out of the deal. You know they. You know that's the best we can do. Show them the way. Set the hooks. <laughs> Need good reflexes. We can dodge that killing strike. Sharpen the blades, cure the kill. Awesome. Glad to take that down. Now we got options. Vault of Helia looks like so if they okay, I was gonna say if they would kill Maokai, I would want to go Vault of Helia. But they could not kill Maokai, so we want to play units. You've been playing Nox, the new Noxia thing in the Ash deck? Okay. But yeah, it's... Okay, it's not as good as Reckoning still. Anyway, we've got three gifted subs to three awesome people. Thank you so much, Meddler. We got Enunciated, Potato, Rad the Reptile, Targaryen King... Very awesome people getting those subs. Thank you so much. Being a meddler and not even a peddler. Meddler bringing that hype. Thanks, Cordette Cabo, getting those hype boats in the chat too. Yeah, Grace Claw getting those hype boats in there too. Thanks, everybody. Okay, so we are now um, 21 left, so we're not quite deep. I could try Devourer. It's probably not the best place to play Nautilus. Like, I guess Reckoning is a huge problem. So let's see, if I go Devourer... Yeah, we, we just can't double spell with anything, can I? Maybe we go to Attacks first? Then we don't get to toss the extra two. Are you learned patience? Maybe we just attack first. Not the worst. Eyes blazing, brightest torches. Yeah, I just want to play Nautilus here. That's that's what I'm hung up on, is I want to play Nautilus. Yeah, there's a good chance Vault of Helia isn't worth it, but it is really cool. And we're trying it out. Okay, that's a good draw. Bow to no one. Today, Ash. Alright, so Jettison is four, that gets us to twenty-one. Playing something gets us to 23. So I don't get to level up this Maokai. I can play Nautilus. Plus Jettison. And we get the extra 2-1 to block. Or I can Vengeance. I wish I could, you know, just do two things. <laughs> we don't get to... You may Vengeance this Sejuani. Yeah, it wouldn't be before combat. It would be me passing. 
We're a pretty healthy life total. We'll just go this route. Alright, I'm sorry, Maokai. You did good, though. You did good. You were so close. Only two away. Okay, so you're elusive. Definitely dealing damage. I mean, I guess I just attack with these things. I don't really see any reason not to attack with these things. Of course, the worst case scenario is like harsh winds. Okay, so uh, 9 to 11. Okay, good. They don't have the mana for harsh winds plus um, reckoning. Definitely not atroc atrocitying the deck with a bunch of frostbite spells. I will go to my turn if you would like. Just didn't have much of anything, I guess. Alright, GG's, we're two and two. The waters cannot be sated. Alright, we got the one ones. Those are good. Vault to Helic and turn them into one fours. Yes, Vaults of Healy would definitely be better if it killed your weakest unit. Because there's a lot of weak units that you want to kill. But yes, it would... That'd be an upgrade. Because then it would always be targeting also, because you'd always, like, be able to get other things there. Good job, Dredgers. good for going deep. For I've done. We're going to do our job. We definitely do not want to play Jaw Hunters with the Dredgers and have Make It Rain just annihilate me. So we're going to be playing the Wanderer. The dead don't need riches. Go back to 20, please. Thank you. Bum, 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 bum. How close are we? Five cards left. Bounty Lord knows me now. It's doing pretty good. Reporting for duty. The few for the many. Send back level up, gangplank. Ooh, Vault of Helia. No, no, no. Don't get to play it yet. No. Uh, don't think it's going to be doing too much on this board. I don't really like just playing Dead Bloom Wanderer this turn. I don't know, it just doesn't use my mana that well. 
Because, like, I could play Abyssal Eye this turn and the next turn play, like, Jaw Hunters and Wanderer, and, like, that's cooler than just going Wanderer this turn and then Abyssal Eye next turn. The problem with that is, if I play Abyssal Eye right now, it's just a 3 3, so it dies fairly easily. Where, um, you know, if I go with the Wanderer first, then next turn it's a 6 6. I guess it's best to go deep first before playing these. Even though it doesn't doesn't use my mana the best. Who's angry for action, hey? Lock the doors. Am I nineteen? Aren't any gods here? Just me. Play this jettison. Nope. Oh. Alright, so we haven't seen any of our six champions yet. We have ten cards left in our deck. Six of them are champions. But yeah, pretty likely we're drawing a champion. 23 out of 25? Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Fighting's a bloody business. I did, yeah, I, I guess I should have played Maokai first. I, I wanted to just play this first because I thought they were going to be going to attackers. But obviously they didn't go to attackers. Here's a big one. My complete. Remember the objectives. So much nexus damage. Down to seven. You wanted wrath. Yeah, I, <clears throat> it's true that probably true that this game is probably going to be decided before. Say your farewells. Routes closed. Who's that you got there? gonna be close like before the, the the four cards would matter there's just one life away right from atrocity so I probably don't want them to get their champions best play. <clears throat> we know they can't draw, you know, Darius or Gangplank. The rot must be cut away. Oh, another Jack. Fighting's a bloody business. Man. Triple Jack the winner just just got me. I, I was too. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You know they just dealt they dealt zero damage to me in combat that game, right? No, they dealt two, but I gained that back. They dealt two damage in combat the entire game. But three Imperial Demolitionists, three Jack the Winners, and a Decimate. And a Noxion Fervor. Yeah.
And I guess Jack is the winner after all. Yeah, I guess so. All right, so we tried Voltahelia, but yeah, it did not look like Voltahelia was any good for this deck, unfortunately. But you know that that would you know, as we talked about at the very beginning of the video, there was some really cool combo potentials with Voltahelia, but it just never worked out uh, in any of those games. The Slaughter Ox, though, that that card looked very good. This this is a card that I underrated whenever we just did the set review. Um, it did look very good. I thought the toss one would be too slow, but it really it really isn't, and uh, that card's worth it. But um, so that that's our landmark deep. You know, we tried it, both landmarks in here with the deep deck. Um, one of them looked good, the other one not as good, but always fun to keep trying new cards, and that's what that's what we do around here. We're gonna keep trying new cards. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave any comments. Uh, what do you want to see on stream? What kind of decks? What kind of uh, combinations? Anything like that. Give me those ideas and I'll make it happen. But thank you so much for watching some Landmark Deep and I'll see you for the next video.